Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another reaction video here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch episode 2 of season 1 of Golden Kamui, but before starting this video I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, leave a like to support me and join me in this adventure that it's pretty long. <laughs> Okay, in the previous episode we saw that Asirpa, Ashiripa and uh, Sugimoto joined the forces because now it's time to find uh, that uh, special golden treasure. Let's see what's going to happen today. Are you ready to join me with this? Check it out. Yeah, in fact, in Hokkaido there are squirrels. <laughs> I saw them. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Let's hope. <laughs> yes, it's a big. Sapporo <laughs> Hakodate as Ahikawa, yes. <laughs> wow, that's so beautiful, Otaru, yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, but they can't enter in the onsen. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, Asirpa, Asiripa is uh, trying to ask the same questions to others. Wow, yeah, that's the body of a soldier. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's the problem? Oh, yeah, that's true. No F way. The immortal Sugimoto. <laughs> Where is that man now? Somebody's following them. Uh, maybe it's one of the prisoners or somebody else who's trying to find the same treasure. Oh, they have already heard about him. Uh, I mean, they have already fell to him. Oh, I mean, you want, he wants to kill them, right? Oh, the tactic for the squirrels! <laughs> wow, Ashirpa is so intelligent. Whoa! They found the first one already? Wow, that was fast. Maybe because they wanted the treasure for themselves. But can we trust his words? Oh no, if it, this is true, he lost the chance to, to get all the tattoos. Uh, 
Wow! I think it's better if you cooperate at this point. Ah, uh, yeah, because she... Yeah, she doesn't want to. <laughs> How do you call it? Call it in the Ainu language. <laughs> But that's beautiful, even the cover is so great. No perabo, sir. No perabo. Eh? No, it's ki- He was killed as soon as he was trying to explain who that person was. And who is this person? Oh no. So this is maybe another one of the prisoners. Or is the person who made the tattoo on the dead prisoner? But what does that mean? He didn't have a face. Is it because he couldn't see the face or? Oh no! No, he's going to be killed! So this is another prisoner! What's that? So it's uh, really hard to defeat him. Huh? Oh. Here we go again, uh, of course. Uh, no. Whoa, he knows uh, the fact that he's called immortal Sugimoto. How does he know him? Wait, what? Uh, exactly. Uh, let's uh, talk about this. Self-defense. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's nice. <laughs> oh, <coughs> that was easy. I really like Ashirpa. She knows lots of things that Sugimoto doesn't. Uh, what? No, I thought that you're about to bake it at least. Uh, <laughs> no, 
I think that I can't. You're forced to say yes. <laughs> it's like a tartar. Oh, she is an only child. Mm. Yeah, that's why she wants to avenge her father because uh, he was the real family she had. Chita tap. Chita tap. Oh, how? <laughs> ah, okay, then you're going to boil it at least. Oh, okay. How is it? It seems like an abbe. It's a meatball soup. Huh? Or something like that. Hina. <laughs> oh, we are learning even the Ainu language. <laughs> That's great. <gasps> oh. They found him. Wow, this is so easy to find them. Don't even say that. Ooh. What's wrong? Ah, okay, that's right. I didn't know that too. I mean, the things about the rabbits like them. Wow. No, when they come back now, he is gone, of course. And now they separate. Let's hope nothing bad is going to happen. Huh? Maybe he's going to be kidnapped. I mean, a uh, Sukimoto. No, ah, uh, okay, I thought something bad. Oh no. That you have to get out from there, otherwise you're going to freeze, yeah. Go, 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 go out, go out. Yeah, how can you start a fire over there that you're in the middle of the snow? <laughs> Ten minutes, I feel anxious for them. <laughs> No F way. We 
can't start a fire. I see it, but we need you. Uh, maybe you know how to start it. Yeah. <laughs> No, come on, but this is this is not going to help you. If you help us finding the treasure, you can stay alive. <laughs> Yeah, because he used the same technique with that small knife, so he could cut... Now oh, look at that. Go. Wow! <laughs> Don't tell me that now they become friends. Uh, I find it pretty strange. <laughs> 24. Why? Ah, uh, yes, because he didn't show his face. Uh, that's why. Oh. Toshizo. Uh, in fact, we are in Otaro. Mm, maybe some somebody else. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's right. Don't be so sure about that. Oh no, maybe now he's going to die and... <laughs> Who's that? Okay, we are starting searching these prisoners that we now understand that they are 24. But look, I didn't expect that mm, Sugimoto and Asirpa find already two of them, two or three. No, two of them plus the third one was uh, coming from uh, the 7th Division of uh, Hokkaido Military Forces. And <laughs> even uh, they were searching for the gold for the same thing. But yeah, I didn't expect that they could find already two like these. So that was pretty easy, but I think that it's just because it's the beginning of the adventure and the more we go on, the more it will be difficult. But we understand that the person who was letting this prison be free, etc., etc., was this samurai who seems not to have a head, actually, because... His head is uh, hiding under a basket uh, and they can't see him. But at least we know his name, Toshizo. And I think that once uh, Sugimoto will be able to meet him, if we can find him, that would be really great to hear the story behind all of this because maybe these people who know this story, they don't know the real story. I mean, maybe Toshizo told them a story or they have heard this story from other people, but this is not the real one. So I really wanted to see how this story goes on because it's incredible and it's super amazing. But once again, I wanted to talk about this immortal Sugimoto because even this other soldier from the 7th Division, he knew his name. He was saying, ah, oh, you are the immortal Sugimoto, even if they are from different divisions because Sugimoto is from the first one, while this soldier was from the 7th one. But I wonder why they know Sugimoto so well or they ever heard about him. Plus, 
we still have to understand what this immortal Sugimoto is because uh, when uh, Sugimoto was uh, talking to Asirpa regarding this uh, name or nickname uh, he was just explaining that he is using uh, this uh, nickname in order to uh, describe himself as a warrior who is not uh, surrendering, who is not being killed and he is pushing himself to survive. But is that it? Or do we have to think that there is something else behind this nickname? That's what I think, to be honest, because uh, uh, it's too good to be true that there is just this uh, poor explanation about it. So I, I definitely think that there is something else going on here. And the more we go on, the more we will understand many things. Uh, another thing I want to say is that I really like uh, this uh, combination between uh, an Aino, that means a Siripa, and Sugimoto, who is a Japanese. Because I think that by joining forces, as much as I was saying during the previous episode, the more they can combine different sort of strength. Asiripa is so great mentally speaking. She is using lot of, lots of tactics, lots of traps in order to reach her goal, while Sugimoto, he is using a physical strength. So this combo is uh, having uh, all the qualities that they need um, strategical mind and the physical strength so uh, they are a great match but let's see if this is enough or do they need the other companions i mean do they need other fellows that they are going to join them for the same purpose for example, uh, this other prisoner who was uh, helping him starting a fire, he could be another fellow actually, because they already interact uh, and even uh, this uh, prisoner was uh, answering Sugimoto's questions. Uh, so I think that maybe there will be some prisoners uh, who are joining them uh, or anyway, somebody else, because I don't think it's possible to handle this entire adventure for just the two of them. I don't know, maybe because I was always used to watch uh, uh, stories in which we find the, the teamwork, a team that has more than two or three members, so that's why I'm thinking something like this. But, um, okay, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, also because uh, uh, now we understood that even Asirpa can draw, so they don't need to get off their skin as much as uh, for what happened in the previous episode. And if she can draw, we can find a way not to kill them because yeah we heard from Ashiripa that Ainu don't like to kill people they like to kill animals for example when they are hungry and they need something to eat but they don't want absolutely to sacrifice a human being that's why maybe the attitude that Ashiripa is having can help Sugimoto to get rid of these uh, usual thing of killing others even if uh, Sugimoto was uh, honest he was just saying I don't like uh, killing people I just uh, do it because it's a sort of a self-defense uh, if they attack me I, t I attack them uh, especially if they want to kill me I will kill them first in order to defend myself but Ashirpa is uh, a peaceful character every time she's attacked uh, she's responding always in an opposite way so that's another reason why I really like like this character sincerely because usually we see always uh, people attacking each other and try to find uh, their personal revenge even Asiripa is uh, trying to avenge her father's death but not in the same way as uh, Sugimoto as the usual character we know so I can't wait to see how this story goes on and if we can find uh, these samurai that already fought uh, the previous war in Hakodate this is a uh, uh, another interesting starting point because uh, he knows uh, many things uh, so we needed to find him uh, last but not least uh, i wanted to praise asiripa once again because when she was uh, uh, explaining uh, this uh, way to capture uh squirrels uh, the fact that i know eats squirrels i didn't know that to be honest uh, I really like uh, the way in which even uh, the author of this story wants to get in touch with uh, the customs of an ancient culture because uh, we don't know anything about them. So the good thing is that the author wants to explain their manners, what they liked to do, what they were used to do. 
what they were cooking, uh, their mental strategy, uh, the tactics, uh, the way in which they were fighting, uh, the weapons they were using, uh, the, the way in which they defend themselves in the case a bear was attacking them or another big animal uh, was uh, trying to do so. so I really like uh, the way in which they are describing Ainu from a different point of view, so we can understand that he is a culture better than ever. Then I don't know sincerely if uh, the author uh, took uh, inspiration from real, uh, just real facts, or did he invent some, did he or she, I think that, that the mangaka is a man, but I don't know if he invented uh, some things or not, uh, or the percentage of the things that are invented versus the percentage of the things that were real, but it's anyway it's so interesting. Um, okay, guys, let's see what's going to happen with episode three of season one of Golden Kamui. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Bye, guys. See you in the next video.